Hello there. Well, hello there, and welcome back to a uh, exciting episode of Corbin Does Something. Sorry for the malfunction. What do we have for you today? Well, we're going to make a keto pizza at home with cut de carb. Now, cut de carb has been recommended to me by both of my sisters. And so I appreciate that. I have had bites of it, but I haven't had the whole thing. Essentially, these are GMO-free, vegan, whatever this WWS2 is, soy-free. Okay, this is nine carbs for this whole freaking pizza. This, this whole pizza is nine carbs. All right, this is pretty sizable. I have been really looking forward to making these because I really want a pizza and I haven't had a chance to uh, try this because I've been working on a farm. But also, I ordered this back in March. I didn't get it till the beginning of May. Very bad uh, shipping time on that. And that's because it went through the Postal Service and got lost. It went through the Postal Service, Postal Service, Postal Service, Postal Service. Thankfully, they sent me a brand new one for free. That came within a couple days. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna open this up. We're going to make some pizza. Go ahead and grab this one one flatbread here. Alright, so this is looks a lot smaller than Ah! Okay, part of it got ripped off. Yeah, so it it, it tore a little bit there. Um, I'm gonna just grab a new one and see if I can get it without ripping it. It that seems super easy. thin. So one of the things my sister gave me and told me to use with this is uh, this avocado uh, oil spray. This cooking spray is 100% uh, keto friendly. And we're gonna put this in the tray. You see, it fits pretty good in this little tray here. I've never had anything actually work in this tray. So we're going to pat it down, let's go ahead and spray with this avocado spray here. I probably could have just did the back side of it with avocado and been fine. We're going to go through with a very light bit of the pizza sauce. This is seven carbs for a cup and I'm not going to do a cup. I'm going to do a little tablespoon here. Lightly, lightly spread this across the uh, the pizza. I know a lot of people are, are probably like, Well, it's a little sauce for a little thing. We're keeping this keto friendly. If I were to do more sauce, it becomes less keto friendly. I think this is fine. This is actually more than enough sauce. And this is what I usually put on for my regular tortilla pizzas that I make. You know, the poor man pizzas or that are no longer poor man because it costs more than a regular pizza. So, all right, now we throw on our pepperonis. Now you can do deli pepperonis or, or any of them. I just get the basic Kroger ones. And the reason for that is they're, they're pretty inexpensive. I also don't have to deal with people if I just, you know, buy stuff off the shelf. We're gonna get them in a mozzarella. Get a fresh bag of mozzarella and if you know me, you know I like cheese, and if I like cheese, you know what that means. It means I just ruined the bag. Kroger, stop making cheap bags. I can't open you without you breaking. So we got a nice little coating here. Uh, it says to, to bake for 12 to 15 minutes. So we'll go ahead and do that. And we'll be right back with you. One hour later. Well, it took about 12 minutes. I did give it some time to cool down. But here's the pizza. It did start burning. So I really had to take it out. That's what he said. Just wondering 
Oh, that's pretty solid. It's cooked through. So, that's pretty impressive. Now I have this pizza cutter here. I'm going to just cut me off a slice of this. Alright, so here we go. And it's very greasy. That's what she said! But definitely a thin crust pizza. Like, this is. smells really good too. I'm going to take a bite. Oh man. I'm not sure if you can see anything on this being up close, but this is really good. I can taste the avocado spray. Even without that, like I can tell this is a really good, good pizza. Now my sister makes nachos out of this, and I kind of want to do that. If you'd like to see that video, leave a comment below. We'll make a video on it. And we'll make some, you know, nachos and cheese because, man, I miss my, uh, I don't. Come on, man. You know the thing. Better educated public helps everybody. I miss nachos and cheese. But damn, that's a good fucking pizza. All right, if you like the video, like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell. Let me know in the comments below if you want that nacho video or if there's something keto you want me to cook for you, for me to eat. And you'd watch. All right. You like me yet?